You're going to meet one of the coolest cats in the game right now, Angel Lopez. He's a friend of ours. He's a brother in martial arts. He's a brother in jiu-jitsu. And uh, I share some of the same roots as Angel. Super cool guy. Let's go inside and see what we got. Welcome to Halo Jiu-Jitsu, guys. Come on in. All right, guys, we're back. This is episode five, Inside the Dojo. Tom Owens from MMA Fight Pass. We got Archie Tovar uh, behind the camera running the show. And I'm here with a, a real good brother of mine, brother of the art of Jiu-Jitsu, and uh, Angel Lopez, man. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you, brother. It's good. I'm glad you guys came. It's an honor having you guys here. You know, we love Jiu-Jitsu, and welcome to Halo Jiu-Jitsu Training Center. So Halo Jiu Jitsu, we're, uh, just to be clear on it, we're in Fresno? Absolutely, we're so right we're here. kind of on the border of Fresno and Clovis? Absolutely, we're right on the border. You know, just actually right above Ashland is Clovis. Okay. Yeah, so we're right on the border. So we attract everybody from all around the city and it's, it's a positive thing here, yeah. And as you guys know, we've been going around and hitting all the local dojos and uh, there's, so, there's so much Jiu Jitsu in the area now in Central Valley um, in the last what I've seen in the last 15 years, it's went from a couple little spots, a couple garages, and maybe one dojo in the whole area, to just a ton of jujitsu now. But not everybody is doing it legit like this. Like I, I, I like to say it a lot. Like some people play jujitsu and some people live jujitsu. This man right here is actually living jujitsu, and uh, you, you've you've turned this into a lifestyle, man. Absolutely, it's a lifestyle. All I do when I go home is like I make sure. You know, I make sure this place is taken care of. I got enough instructors to teach the classes if I'm not teaching the classes as well, because I do teach as well, of course. You know, I'm the head professor here. And um, I go home and I look at my itinerary and I'm like, well, where am I going to go? Look for places to travel the world and compete. You know, I'm like, where am I going next? So that's my lifestyle, going around competing, come home, teach my students, go back home, look at the calendar. Where am I going to travel to next? Look at the tournament schedules and just travel the world and, you know, any tournament opportunity offered to me, I love it. And you know, I've been competing in IBJJF for the last nine years, or eight, nine years. And now I got Fight to Win Pro that has become a big part of my schedule. I just competed in the Fresno Fight to Win Pro here December 6th. You know, uh, January 11th, I competed in Sacramento. And also, I'm gonna be competing in Denver, Colorado, uh, February 8th. So That's so awesome, man. Yeah. So that Fight to Win, uh, I'm kinda new to the whole Fight to Win thing. But I saw you and your student Ray, uh, Ray Ron, is that? Absolutely, Ray Ron is going down there with his ax. He plays a good role, he loves Jiu Jitsu, <laughs> but he has fun at the same time. So you could catch Ray in uh, Denver, Colorado, Fight to Win Pro 101. And he's gonna be wearing his Nordic furs with his ax, having a good time. A straight Viking right there. That's right, and I'm gonna come out with my halo sweater like I normally do. Just the old school rough, rugged and raw halo sweater. Now you, you've been training for how many years, brother? I've been doing Jiu Jitsu for right at, uh, whew, so I started 2009 of October. So let's say October 2019 will be 10 years. Now is Jiu-Jitsu the first martial art that you got involved with? Um, actually, yes. I mean, we opened up the MMA camp, but I was just a wrestler, out of shape wrestler. Let's open this up, let's yeah. have some fun. Everybody wanted to fight, you know? So we were all training to fight. Speedy walks in the gym, which is my professor and Mauricio Tengui as well. And uh, he started a Jiu-Jitsu program. Coach Ray Alvarado was teaching a class one night. He showed me a choke, and I was like, really? That, that easy? You? I was sold. So I tried to just... So Luis was your first instructor? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, right. so, you know, Luis they're the one... Speedy Gonzalez. Absolutely. Tinguilla's first black belt, him and Mike Brown in America. So, you know, me being Speedy's first black belt in America, you know, was pretty amazing. I'm a Tinguilla black belt. You guys know that. So, it, you know, I thank God for the opportunity. You know, I couldn't have ran into better people. Those guys are just amazing. They love jujitsu. They're so passionate about it. And I'm just lucky to be able to be doing, doing jujitsu. Yeah, and man, under Luis, uh, I just call him Luis Gonzalez, but a lot of you might know him as Speedy. Uh, he, he's, he's one of my, you know, tr first true instructors, man. Even when he was a blue belt, like he was one of the guys that, like I say, you live jujitsu. Like Luis yeah. just was totally engulfed in jujitsu. Absolutely. And, uh, I linked up with Luis and we would travel up to Half Gracie's school like two, three days a week. And then later on, Half brought Tingina down yeah. and uh, Luis, you know, he, he, he liked Tingina's style. And then he decided just to go under him and I did as well. And yeah, Luis Gonzalez, super legit. 
And uh, I know if you got your black belt from Luis that you definitely earned it. Like, he's, oh. he's not giving any belts away. Not even. I, I fought my heart out for it. I mean, you know, as a purple belt, you know, in the IBJJF, I already had over, like, what, 23 medals. And then as a brown belt, I had 32. So, you know, and uh, that was tournament 70 when I finally got my black belt. So I've already done 35 tournaments as a black belt. That's legit, brother. And I'm not done yet. I'm having a great time. I'm, I'm like a white belt that, you know. I got a lot to work on. I'm picking at my game. I'm constantly critiquing myself, searching for improvement. And I know the jiu-jitsu is going to do that because I'm in the shark's den and I love fighting in the shark's den and I want to fight sharks and get better at jiu-jitsu. And that's just what life's about, getting better. We're and white belts that haven't quit like exactly. yourself. You're a professor. We're white belts. Still. Exactly. I still feel like I'm just starting this stuff, man. Every Me time too. I go to a new gym. Me too. Um, <laughs> Me too. What, what was it like about what point in your jiu-jitsu career did you just, you decide that you wanted to open up a place like this? Well, you know, when we opened up Fresno Kickboxing Academy back in 2008. That's what it was. We were yeah, talking about that yeah, all the way over. Absolutely. Me and Gabe Martin. You know, he's the one that sparked my mind to, you know, open up the gym with him as well. He's the one that created everything, let's start it and everything. And I was his partner. And, uh, you know, we were a solid team together. And uh, now it's just me solely. And he's a great guy, and I thank him for that opportunity for even sparking in my brain. And now here I am doing Halo Jiu-Jitsu full-time. And, wow, life can't get no better. With and this, is, this is all you do for a living? Um, well, actually, I own an air conditioning company. I own Central oh, okay. California Air. I've owned that right since there. 2000. So I am a contractor. All but right. I am so busy here where I can't really get behind the Carhartt overalls like I like to wear. And, yeah. you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I like to turn screwdrivers. I like to work. I'm not a lazy person. So... You know, this keeps me very active. So thank God for jiu-jitsu, you know. Thank God for jiu-jitsu, that's for sure. That's it, dude. Well, man, you have a beautiful academy here, bro. I really like what I'm seeing right here. Thank and, you, uh, man. And we'll, we'll talk with I'm you a very, little more. Okay. Uh, we want to get some of the kids' class going and maybe get some rolls on the mat here. Absolutely. And, and just enjoy this time while we're here, man. Man, I, I really hey, thank brother. you for letting us come, dude. Always, really brother. Much it, love, man. brother. Always. Yes. Yes. All right. Thank you so all. this interview will continue, my friends.